Jennifer Samard again for week two of my vlog, Help for Disaster. This week, I'd like to talk about an emotion that we have quite often in our show, which is fear. And I love the so-called negative emotions because from those, I think you can grow the most, right? Uh, so this week, I'm going to be asking some cast members uh, there's all kinds of fear, right? I'm going to ask people maybe what their oddest fear is or one that they'd be embarrassed if people knew that they had that fear. So I'll go first, full disclosure. <clears throat> I'm afraid of white panel vans. All panel vans, really, but particularly white ones. Uh, yeah, if you drive a white panel van, you are a serial killer. I'm sorry, maybe you don't know it yet, but you are. I will go out of my way to avoid one when I see one parked on the street. I will cross the street to go on the other sidewalk, cross the street. I will sometimes walk in the middle of the street. And if all else fails, I'll hug the wall <laughs> if I'm absolutely stuck. And I'll just eye that van the whole time. And then when I pass the van, then I get all cocky like, yeah, you know, maybe next time. See you later, sucker. I can just see them inside their van with their camera like, foiled again. Ah, let's see what the cast has to say. Bye. Hello. Uh, I'm in Max Crumb's dressing room. He's laughing at me. <laughs> he, Max Crumb plays Scott. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Broadway.com and all of the help watchers. I want to ask you a question. Mm, yes. Um, what do you think is your oddest fear? Or anyway, a fear that you're like, oh, I, if people knew, they might find oh, okay. it funny. Uh, one is actually the bottom of Seth's um, steamer. If you could see inside of there, it's pretty scary. I fear that. Should, can we? <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, my real fear is I am actually deathly afraid of clowns. And this is not like a, a, a cute, like, oh, I'm afraid of clowns. Hold me. Like, I'm like, this is cute. It's like, I will punch you in the face and I will slit your throat and run so the clown will get you instead of me. Like, because I had a dad who, I still have a dad who, it loves scary movies. And so at an inappropriately young age, I was shown all of these terrifying, like, scary movies. And first of all, was one of them was The It. And then also Killer Clowns from Space. I don't know if you remember that movie where they could only kill them with battery acid and all this. But anyway, I just, I, I can't deal with anything having to do with clowns. They're just nightmarish and, you know, I mean, that's really awful. Isn't it rich? I smell an opening night present. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm totally sending him a clown for opening night. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, this is Jack Plotnick, the director of our show. And Jack, hey do, you guys. Have, do you have a uh, fear that you think is rather odd or that you feel funny if people knew about? Yeah. What do you think? I have, a, okay, I have a pretty normal, terrifying fear of spiders. However, the weird part of it is that um, I, I could never imagine squishing a spider to kill it if I find it. So what I do is I, I suck them up in the vacuum, but then... <laughs> Then I'm terrified they're going to climb out of the vacuum at night and take their revenge because somehow they know I'm the one who did that. I also, I used to squish them and throw them in the toilet, but I literally couldn't sleep at night thinking, next time I sit on the toilet, they're going to somehow come back up through the toilet and bite me in the butt. So that's, that's how my brain works. It could happen. It could happen. Do they, do they hold grudges, dead spiders? I think so. And here we are with Lacrita Nicole. Lacrita, yes. Do you have a fear that you find odd or uh, a little funny that you like to share? Yes. That's okay. Funny. So, I like to iron. However, um, I am afraid when the iron is facing me. So when the hot part is facing me, I'm left-handed. Not because you know I might touch the hot part but because I know that if it's facing me, the iron is going to explode mm -hmm. into my face. Flames, flames. <laughs> and the, the hot part is going to stick to my face and in an effort to get it off, my face is going to come off. 
mm -hmm. with it because right. it's so hot. It's that specific. It's not, oh, I might singe my fingers reaching for it. It's, it's going to explode. The iron is going to explode. If it's facing away from me, it's all mm -hmm. good. It's a perfectly logical explanation. Uh, right? And everyone's giving me great opening night gift ideas. <gasps> One like, iron coming out. I already have an iron. I don't need another iron. I don't need it's another done. iron. I'm buying it. Thanks. <laughs> So I'm here with Mr. Roger Bart, who plays Tony Del Vecchio, and uh, we are talking about fear. So Here's yes, what is your, uh, go ahead, you go. You know, I have two, two biggies, excuse me. Okay. Hello. What's up? Hey, man, no. <laughs> we're, hey. Talking, we're talking fear. Do you want to join fear. us? Sure. All right. Hey. Well, we, we can have hey. Yeah. hey, Adam. Hi. Okay, so we're going to do this together. <laughs> Irrational so we're fears we're talking. Irrational. Irrational, Irrational um, fears, uh, yeah. Mine, I'll get you a chance to think. Okay, yeah. Uh, mine is, uh, I have a couple. I have a, an irrational fear of... Um, any, uh, uh, being in any water where I cannot see the bottom. That's one really big rational uh -huh. fear. But that's right. actually a rational fear. Right, but it's still um, a good the one. irrational fear, mm -hmm. I have an irrational fear of being around balloons. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, not, literally, I'm not kidding. Like that, I, yeah. I actually, all for, for the past mm -hmm. 30 years, thought the red balloon was actually a horror film. Um, <gasps> oh, it was my favorite movie as a kid. Uh, the <laughs> thing that... I always thought it would be great is to, to do a remake of the movie where instead of chasing the red balloon, the red balloon chases chases me. That would yes. Be, so that's that's going to be my uh, balloons. My big, balloons. Yeah, my big I would balloon. love to delve into yes. your psyche. And uh, find for real. Sudden Come noises. From. Sudden uh, yeah. loud noises. The I the fear of popping. So it really you, freak, like literally my skin, my forehead oh. starts to do this thing where uh, <gasps> I can. can uh, like that when I get around balloons. So if I've ever, like, uh, I, uh, yeah, not very good. You need a hug. And you need balloons for opening no, night. No, no, no. Okay. Um, do you want to go? Sure. Yeah, right. yeah, hit it, man. Um, <clears throat> I guess uh, my, my biggest irrational fear is of a spider under the toilet seat that's going to crawl up my oh, butt man. when I sit down. Yeah. You need to talk to Jack Plotnick. Uh, yeah, does he, he have shares that too? your fear. Oh, he does? He really? does. Oh my god. Yes, we just talked about okay, it. Okay, I have that fear. Oh. I have that fear. It's never happened to me. Uh, but the night I, is I young. Have that fear. The night it, is, it is young. I'm going to the prank gift store literally right after the show tonight. You are? Yeah. Opening yeah. night gifts? Yeah. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm getting all my best ideas <laughs> from my co stars. Uh, all right, guys. And, uh, and, yes. and uh, film and TV auditions. That's uh, my other rational fear. Uh, 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 that's uh, a rat. Consequently, oh I don't work my Right. Oh, uh, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. Seth, I'm not going to ask you about a fear, but I do want to know do you have a response? to Max Crumb's fear about what lies beneath your steamer. Yeah, it's not my steamer. I wanted to buy a new one, but James, I want my father. Just, you know, when I was growing up, I'd say to my dad, I want to buy a diary. We'd go, get some paper and staple it together. So I wanted a steamer, and James was like, use mine. It's from like 1991. It has been cleaned since 1989. It's disgusting. I've actually not used it. It's disgusting. Opening night gift, new steamer. You know how I know I'm a horrible person? I know because I just cut these balloons down that the ladies ensemble dressing room decorated our room with last week for Cupid for Valentine's Day because they were actually starting to leak and they were getting in our doorway and uh, stopping the door from shutting and I was gonna throw them away. I was gonna pop them and throw them away. But then I thought, wait a minute, Roger Bart has a terror of balloons. He just told me I might go have to tie him on, on his chair in his dressing room. You know, I like to take risks and uh, this one's worth taking. You with me? You're totally with me. Okay. Hello. 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 Horrible person. Here we go. I'm sitting in Roger's chair. I've just tied the terror balloons onto the chair. They do say love, so I hope that softens the blow. We'll see if he still loves me after this. We'll see. Anyway. Love you, Roger. I love you. <laughs> okay, so I've co-opted Seth to come with me because I'm terrified of Roger's reaction. When he gets angry. Okay, here we go. Ready? You knock on the door. Um, there's a video camera here. To Hi. gauge your reaction oh, to... Oh my god. <laughs> I've already tried to undo them immediately. <laughs> I will do it. I'm... Uh, uh, I sat here like this. 
You still love me? Yeah, I, as soon as I walked in, I was like, God. I hate her that so much. damn smart. <laughs> She's too smart for her own oh, good. Oh, hey, see what he did there? All right. <laughs> meaning. All right. <laughs> Oh, you're Thank very you. sweet. Thank you. Smile. All right, good. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in for this second week of my vlog, Help, for Broadway.com, representing disaster. Uh, I had so much fun this week. I love that we talked about fear. I now know more about my castmates. And uh, I got some great opening night gift ideas. So, win-win. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for week three. Bye. Bye.